Hello everybody and welcome to some more Fighter Subscriber where you glorious people have sent me a whole load of your fighters and I throw them into combat against a selection of my own which you can see here. Nothing of note to tell you today so we're going to leap straight into it and meet today's craft. This is the F-54 Stubby by Monzania Strike and uh, it's an interesting little craft. Uh, it's another drone. That's two in a row now. I'll try not to make a habit of that. Um, it's got a trick up its sleeve, but apart from that, it's a pretty conventional craft. It's powered by three Saturn engines. It's armed with four Vulcan cannons, uh, six Amrams and six Sidewinders. So a fairly well-armed craft. But uh, yeah, as I mentioned, it's got a bit of a twist in the tail, this one. For those of you who've seen my streams, you may have picked up on the fact that Monzania has a bit of a penchant for rearward-facing radars on his craft, just so that uh, they can launch missiles at enemies behind them. Uh, this craft also has a couple of backwards-facing sidewinders for much the same purpose, but uh, I'm sure we'll see more of that a little bit later. Before we dive deep into the action, I have taken this up on a test flight, and I was surprised. I thought this craft would be more manoeuvrable than it is, given its uh, its wing area and those three Saturn engines. And uh, then I checked and realised this is actually quite a heavy craft. Not only is it carrying those two radomes, but also a hell of a lot of fuel as well. Endurance hasn't yet come into play during this round of the competition, but who knows? Today might be the F-54's lucky day. So uh, let's go and throw it into the gauntlet. So we have all six craft ready and lined up for this first fight in which the F-54s will be taking on my less conventional craft, the Club Tails. Let's get this one started. Just about to come up to the 8km mark, I just want you to watch what happens with the F-54s as they, uh... Ah, they didn't do it this time. Ah, uh, normally in testing, um, what they did quite often was because they've got the uh, rear-mounted... Uh, rear-mounted radome, they, uh, they just sort of launch their uh, launch their ram ram straight away is it, does this version have the rear mounting radome have i received a different version from uh, from manzania it looks like i might have done huh ignore everything i've said about the reverse facing missiles up to this point just the reverse facing sidewinders no but it is quite interesting if you do have a reverse facing radome you can um they about to do it? No, I think I think this is a version without the uh, without the rear facing radome, which is uh, quite disappointing. But it means that if you had a craft like this, you could lock onto a craft behind you, and even if you were to fire uh, an AMRAM in the opposite direction, it would should track, provided it's got enough um, room to maneuver. It should track around and actually uh, turn around and find its target. This F-54 coming in for a bit of gun action on this club tail, but having to uh, having to break off, having to pop some countermeasures. Missiles going back and forth. It seems to have one of the uh, one of the club tails in its sights. The missile doesn't do much, but those four Vulcan cannons, the roar of them, closing in a bit further. 1.2 kilometers easing off a little bit on the throttle. Still trying to line it up in its sights. It's Jebediah's craft. Jebediah is in a lot of trouble. Gunfire going back and forth right over there, but this looks like it could be bad news for Jebediah. He's pulling some evasive maneuvers, but that, uh, that stubby is getting very, very close indeed. Surely it can't. Will only be a matter of time before it, its guns find the mark. Jebediah still twisting and turning. There we go. A little smattering. Loses the air intakes. And, um... Jebediah's craft is unfortunately doomed, but that looks like... Yep. Yeah, one of the other club tails is in a bit of trouble as well. Valentina Kerman. Daffy Kerman in the last remaining healthy club tail, popping some countermeasures. Having a bit of missile trouble, it looks like coming around has Sidewinders armed launches a pair of them this is a perfect range for it maybe not actually can't quite get them to uh, get them to hit and now this is not looking good has the attention of one of the F-54s I think the other club tails are probably just distracting 
the other F-54 stubbies. But even so, yeah, I think I think Duffy's got the attention of two of those craft now, and that's that's not good news, especially when it's four Vulcan cannons opening up at you. What just happened there? Something happened to one of the F-54 stubbies. I'm not sure what that was. I haven't been checking them recently. I thought they were all in good health, but it would appear not. Maybe one of the club tails managed to get away a min uh, a last minute missile. A last minute sidewinder and do some damage. Maybe Jebediah Kerman, in fact. He is missing uh, he is missing a sidewinder, although he might have uh, might have lost that uh, in the explosion that stripped him of all the other parts. All we know for the moment, though, is that the um, the F-54s are victorious. Not a clean sweep. Oh, Valentino. Things are about to get very bad for you. Anyway, let's move on and uh, go to the second fight. Yeah, a very solid start there for the F-54s, but will they be able to put together a run of good form as they now go up against my sort of flying wing-esque Panthers? Let's get them into the air and find out. So once again, no reverse missile action there. Yeah, sorry about that. I don't know which craft I was getting this confused with, but uh, clearly, as I said, it's not this version. They do have the uh, they do have that one uh, that pair of rever reverse sidewinders. It'd be really nice if we got to see those in action, but um, I think we'll just have to take it as it comes. Uh, all craft getting missiles away and then breaking low to dodge. How many missiles? Just the one missile per target for the F-54s. That might prove to be a bit of an issue. Might weigh them down a bit if they're just uh, losing them at uh, one missile a time. The uh, the Panthers, all my craft set up to uh, for uh, two missiles a target. No problem dodging those two though. They go right past the tail of this F-54. Pulling some more evasive manoeuvres, another Amram coming in. Again, not too much problem. This one might be more problematic. And that F-54 just shredded. It's three on two. They've been so good at uh, dodging missiles in testing as well. What was that? I think that was one of the Panthers just having a go at the uh, this falling debris, and that might have been a mistake. That might have allowed this F-54 to uh, to get on its tail. Can I find the Panther in question? Yes, Jebediah, Jebediah, you've done it again. Just squirrels out a little bit. Manages to regain control though, trying to pull some evasive manoeuvres. No harm done, has lost all missiles. Not the most manoeuvrable of my craft. It tends to keep speed in the turn, and one of the Panthers has gone already. Where did that happen? It's two apiece. Oh no! I am sticking with the wrong fight at the moment. That Panther over there, Shawnee Kerman, has taken care of one of the uh, one of the F-54 stubbies and now will be rushing to his wingman's aid. Bit of a... Oh! Oh no, Jebediah Kerman forced into the sea. Now this is going to be interesting. Shawnee Kerman has no missiles. God, this has been back and forth like anything. And I think the F-54 stubby is a little bit more manoeuvrable. Yes, it gets on Shawnee Kerman's tail. Oh, this... It's been so back and forth. Although it's now looking definitely like the F-54 stubbies will carry the day. Shawnee Kerman rapidly, lo rapidly losing control surfaces. Won't be able to pull out of this one. So another victory. Again, not a perfect one, but um, 
they all count, they all add up to the points total. Anyway, let's move on to our final fight. The F-54 Stubby has been doing very well against my own craft thus far, so it's uh, it's time for me to break out the big guns in the form of my SU-47-inspired Red Hawk. Let's, uh, let's get this one going. And the final fight begins. Um, I suppose if there's one thing these fights have been good for, so far it's been, um, they've been quite gun heavy. Normally, this series, it's been very, uh, this season, it's just been missile kill after missile kill, but we are finally seeing a little bit of gun action here. And with the F-54's four Vulcan cannons, it's been pretty much going all their, all their way, although, um, Sort of the manoeuvrability of the Panthers in that last fight certainly didn't help them. The Panthers did, though, manage to uh, chalk up an early missile kill. And if my Red Hawks can do the same here, they uh, they will certainly be uh, be looking the favourites. More missiles come flying in. Was that a... Were those flares deployed there? It sounded like an explosion somewhere. I don't think anything important got hit. No, I think everybody's uh, everybody's still flying, everybody's still fine. More missiles coming in. Not doing much, although that one did pass very close. This F-54 launches another AMRAM. This one up here, a couple of AMRAMs to dodge, which it does so with ease. The f 54 is starting to get a little bit separated, which might not be good news. This missile coming very close. How is that not a kill? Okay, that was a bit more of a kill. One comes in. The other one. The next one dis disintegrates him. Yeah, I think the I think the Red Hawks must be onto their uh, must be onto their sidewinders by now. Jebediah Kerman comes in, trying to finish off what's left of the debris. I'd just leave it if I were you. Jebediah, there's plenty more of the uh, the F-54s in the air, and they are still very dangerous. And both in full health as well. One of the Red Hawks has been forced into the ground. Once again, we're on to... It's, it's two versus two. Rowena Kerman. What are you up to? Still a couple of Sidewinders. Oh, that missile's coming very close! Just about manages to dodge, though. I think she's got the attention of two of the F-54s. So what's Jebediah Kerman doing? Pulling hard about. He's out of missiles. That's bad news. Racing in, though, to try and save his, his wingman. Although without the missiles, this is... It's just... he's just got to hope Rowena can hang on in there. The Red Hawk is a manoeuvrable craft. It should be able to pull some pretty hot, pervasive manoeuvres, but not... Not Rowena Kerman. Not if you turn into the gunfire. Oh dear, and now... Jebediah has to pull some heroics out of the hat. Just needs to come about, try and acquire one of those targets. There goes Rowena Kerman's Red Hawk into the sea. Oh my word! Yeah, both F-54s very much concentrating on Jebediah now. Jebediah having to pull some hard manoeuvres. Where the hell have those F-54s gone to? One over there. Now this... The Red Hawk is the most manoeuvrable of my three craft here, so it it should be okay to... Um, oh, this is not looking good. But it should be okay to try and uh, pull some hard manoeuvres. Try and get on the back of those F-54s, but it is definitely not looking good as Jebediah Kerman loses an engine. Just that gunfire, just clipping the back of his craft. And here come some more, here come more bullets. More of that 20mm ammunition. 
which is just going to make Jebediah's life harder and harder. Jebediah seemingly with no inclination to pull hard around and try and get some shots off of his own. And it's all over. Stripped of its last engine, Jebediah's craft can now just glide to its demise. I was not expecting that from the uh, the F-54s. I really wasn't. I wasn't expecting them to to win all three fights. But um, anyway, we'll uh, we'll go discuss that more as we look at the final scores. Right. What was I saying? Yes, the F-54 stubby there in a very good performance, which, as I said. Uh, surprises me a little bit because during the preliminaries its performance at least compared to the other craft who've made it through to this round was uh, wasn't spectacular but if we bring up the leaderboard we can see that with nine kills and five survivors it is currently on 14 points putting it in third place sadly this means that we do have to say farewell to the mri2 archer by junamoose which will not be making an appearance in this season's final if there's one positive here, though, I suppose it's that uh, this hasn't happened like it happened last season, where uh, poor old Junamoose was clinging on by his fingernails right up until the final video of the Gauntlet round. Um, but yeah, very sad to see that craft go. My enormous thanks to Monzania Strike for this craft. It certainly defied my expectations to win big here today. Um, if you'd like me to fight any of your craft, submissions for Season 3 are now closed, unfortunately. We have gone through the preliminary round and everything. Uh, but if you'd like to send me your craft anyway, then uh, feel free and I will try to feature it in one of my regular mailbag streams. I'll put the, uh, the address down in the description. If you've enjoyed today's video and you haven't already, please consider liking, subscribing, uh, following me on Twitter, getting involved with the Discord, all that kind of stuff, all the information down below. Uh, I will be back soon with some more Fighter Subscriber, but until then, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.